All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I actually woke up pretty early today. I had an okay night's sleep, but again, too much energy. Maybe I was just eating too many calories yesterday. You know, I, you know, just had my standard stuff. Oh well. But either way, uh, I kind of want to be playing more Pixel Starships. I actually realized I could actually just create an alt an alt account because the game's free to play, and then just feed myself premium currency. I didn't actually realize I could do that. So, uh, but the thing is, I think I advanced so quickly on the new account within like an hour or two that I must have triggered something in their thing. I actually tested it between both the computer and my cell phone. So I had different devices, different IP addresses, different everything. But the one commonality was the account. So I think I actually triggered like an anti-bot account uh, algorithm. So... So I don't get the rewards even though I'm watching all the damn ads. So I just gotta let it cool off or something. Damn. Oh well. Either way, um, I don't know. I didn't need to do any research at all. So let's just see what happens. Um, Bitcoin searches for this week is still 16. I haven't heard back from BTC Pop or even Mitch. So, um, but whatever, whatever the case is, just leave your stuff in BTC Pop and we'll do the swap for you. I'm still a little, uh, I mean, I guess we can trust them, BTC Pop. I still would prefer if they, you know, had something. In fact, uh, did I even log in to be, I don't know, maybe I'll just have an announcement inside BTC Pop. That'll probably be good enough for people. All right, so uh, Bitcoin's actually going down there. Yeah, this is interesting. So Bitcoin does a 66.5, 24 rounds, 122.4 billion. Uh, after a terrific run i guess something had to end at some point so let's see bitcoin's actually down a nice chunk down 92.48 it's now five percent litecoin 43.52 so it looks like we're getting an across the board drop i wonder if something actually happened dog coin 316 million market cap it's pretty much the same um hive 30.66 cents so of course it's going down steam Where's Steam? 21.15 cents. This thing's down a lot too. It actually went up a lot and down. So something happened. Uh, I am going to refresh this. Or maybe nothing happened. It was just simply normal stuff uh, are in a collision course. Yeah, I said this yesterday. Let me guess. It's about the uh, Facebook shop stuff, right? Uh, is there any e-commerce around Facebook shops? Yeah, we already went over this yesterday. But yeah, like... This is an immediate attack on Amazon. And to be honest, I think Facebook will actually do really well because Facebook's got really solid data gathering stuff. Uh, which is fine because it basically means Amazon's going to have to push harder and they have to be less of an asshole too. All right, so markets are pretty much neutral or up a little bit. Uh, workers file for more employment. Existing home sales crash in April, of course. Um, uh, Nick Fuentes did a show yesterday when he said a bunch of doctors were telling Trump to end the shutdown because it was going to cause more problems. I mean, we kind of already know that, but I mean, already everything's just going out of out of whack with the shutdown shit. So, uh, but I did, but there was a picture of a really muscular white dude who's like completely healthy, and then six weeks in the hospital, he had to when he had coronavirus, he lost like almost all his money. He still is. He's lean, but he, like his big muscles were gone. So like he got really fucked by coronavirus. Um, and I don't have a suspicion that it was faked. Um, so I don't know. Uh, but whatever. Well, but uh, with that being said, um, coronavirus is dangerous because of the <clears throat> inflammation, and that and this disproportionately affects uh, men with high testosterone. So basically, us manly men. So it really is like an alpha male killer kind of thing too. So, uh, but, you know, lucky for him, he survived. <clears throat> but, um, as long as they keep the fear hysteria machine going, we're going to have to continue dealing with this crap. Now, that being said, you know, uh, I was thinking about what Elon Musk said and other people have said, like, well... If I, uh, they say like, well, if you want to take the risk, you should be able to have the right to go out and take a risk. But here's the problem with that thinking. You have to take a risk because what do you have to go out and buy food, right? So, you know, it's kind of like smoking. It's like, oh, I choose to smoke, so I don't give a shit about anyone else. Well, yeah, you're giving me lung cancer, you stupid fuck. You know, when I was living with my mom and dad, the, the stupid 
boomers next door would just like her, the dumb fucking cunt wife would just smoke all the time that and even though she was actually two houses away like the fuck they, they were smoking so much that it would always blow in into my fucking uh, apartment it was like so irritating and it pissed me off so much you know so it's, it's so that's kind of like basically what's happening here except with the coronavirus you know you could actually die <laughs> from it and technically i'm at a high risk so uh, like I said, the best solution was supposed to be reopen where it makes sense and do the lockdown like we did in New York City, you know, due to density problems, like, you know, like normal. The problem that we have is everyone just simply did the exact same thing, and that's not right. So, uh, but, you know, I guess it just depends, right? I mean, you know, like there, there's always going to be a trade off. Uh, I mean, that's the other thing, too. Everyone's so fucking extreme. Why don't you just take the middle ground approach? It's like, like, I haven't had a chance to, because I've been working, on the, I worked on the game yesterday, you know, found little bugs, but I managed to figure it out and fix it. Luckily, the, the thing actually works as intended, so that's really nice. And story-wise, even though there's not much of a story, because obviously it's a tower defense game, I'm not going to put that much in. You know, um... What you call it? It was kind of a bore to me that you know, like the really big unit tower that you get to build, because uh, actually it uses the name of the brand, of the show, so I can't say it. But you know, it's supposed to represent. It's like the you know, you, you deploy your leader, and then like you know, everybody gets like super fucking buffed and shit. So you know, but anyway, um, yeah. Uh, Troy Drake's rather down, O'Rourke have a style that's kind of for feet. Alright, so it just looks like today's, today is just normal crap, so unless something significant is happening in crypto, which we'll soon see, it could just be normal market volatility. Which is fine by me, no news is good news. GMC coin, 7 to 9, as usual, looks like GMC is gaining strength. Uh, 404 coin, um, also appears to be gaining strength as well, 2 to 3, now that we have the certainty of what's happening. I guess with a swap and people realize, hey, it's not as bad as we thought. So it might actually go up to three to four. I personally will not be selling uh, my coins. In fact, uh, the sell orders on, in fact, I'm seeing that both Crex and BTC pop. Someone's been pulling out all their 404 coin. So I find that kind of interesting. I don't think they're dumping because if they were dumping, they would have just dumped it here and the sell order. Why can't I highlight this? Oh, I guess they don't let me highlight it. Uh, this sell because this the sell the total sell orders yesterday when I told Mitch was around 705 million or something. Now someone pulled out 140 million, so the guy's not panicking. He's holding the coins himself. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Two by two coin uh, has gone down uh, quite a bit. I mean, it's had a pretty incredible run. So you know now it's back to kind of normal. So 59 to 64, 65. I wonder where my sell order even. Uh, let me see. Did my sell order even go through for two by two coin? Uh, no, it's still stuck at seventy two. Well, that sucks, assholes. Hmm. I don't know. What do I want to do? Uh, yeah, I got this is so annoying. I really don't. Uh, I don't want to like keep going all the way down. But I guess I'll just join the sixty four then. All right, anyway, it's 62 to 64. I think part of my order will show up sooner or later or something like that. Compound coin is 6,700. So uh, let's just uh, let's just get to it. What is actually happening with crypto? Because so far I don't see anything. Uh, Twitter, let's see. So technical analysis, Bitcoin, I like transfer Satoshi coins. Um, I don't know. It's just speculation. Someone's just moving old. First of all, someone is moving their old Bitcoin. Then either they knew about it or they lost it, and then they found their keys and they're thanking God or their stars or whatever they believe in. Of course, they should be thanking God for that. If that's the case. But no, ISIS does not have three million in Bitcoin. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh... I don't know, I kind of want to click and read. All right, if we have no news, we'll read it just to see. But so far, all I'm seeing is nothing. Like, like there's literally nothing here. Like, it's just normal. Microsoft, the early quantum computing platform moved to draw developers. Oh, boy. 
quantum computing. XRP, a good investment, yes and no, chain analysis. You know, I'm kind of curious. I wonder if we can actually have a quantum, I wonder if my next desktop computer will be a quantum computer. Oh, it'd be sound so cool. I don't know, it'd just be just like in the sci-fi shows. Satoshi or Bitcoin, actually did Nasdaq, ever... I could have sworn. Oh great, there goes my fucking keyboard. I, see, I can't figure out what's wrong with it. I changed the USB port, so it's not the USB ports. And I'm not entirely sure if getting a brand new keyboard is going to solve the problem. Oh, God damn it. However, however, God, this this fucking bug is starting to piss me off. All right, I'm just going to buy a new fucking keyboard on Amazon. Even though like this keyboard technically works, I think I just type. Oh, great, I spelled keyboard wrong. I think what I really need is the driver software. So, because it's definitely a software problem, but this thing's generic and it's using like a 2006 keyboard. Like, I, it's just fucking pissing me off. Masters of Orion 2 Quantum Computer. I could have sworn there was always a quantum computer in. Uh, Yeah, there's no quantum computers in Master Ryan too. I could have sworn they have quantum. Maybe it's called quantum computing. Is the tech tree? Yeah. God, this is so slow. All right. Well, while that loads, uh, chain analysis. Brian Shaw analysis. New student is COVID. Re okay. God, I'm so sick and tired of fucking coronavirus. I really fucking am sick and tired. Okay, I literally see nothing here. It's not Satoshi Nakamoto, all right? People speculate, and everyone's already proven that it's not that. Uh, Shopify integrates crypto gateway, announces new parts for Facebook shops. Wait, what? Shopify integrates crypto gateway. Okay, I actually want to read this because this is important too. And of course, Firefox being the completely fucking trash retard. Okay, there we go. Browser, uh, top analysis centers, blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, holy shit. So Biden is really gaining here, 50 to 46. I mean, in a way, if Trump does lose the election, in a way he does deserve it because he literally had all the power in the world and he literally just does nothing with it. All right. Like, I don't know what his fucking problem is. Uh... And then I, Nick Fuentes also talked about that too. I don't think it was yesterday. It was in the one two days ago. But um, I don't know, it's going to be very close. But Trump does have a very real danger of losing. Because uh, they're desperate. So you know, the best they can cheer about the U.S. as the FBI until I came along. Um, I don't know. He's, he's running this, but I don't think that's working. Uh, they better trade deals. Uh, Trump, the D, White Susan Rice. Uh, okay. All right, oh god, is that Benny Johnson? Please don't be here. Yeah. Oh, he retweeted Jack. Wait, I thought I muted him. Because I actually muted Jack because I'm getting sick and tired of seeing him all over the place. Uh, Sweden becomes kind of the highest coronavirus death rate per cat. See, now he's even pushing this fucking uh, retarded bullshit, right? Where, like, they, they inflate the numbers, too. Yeah. Let's see. Let me, let me make sure I fucking did I mute? I'm, I know I mute. Yeah, I muted him. So why is it still showing up here? Ah, oh, Jesus. All right, let's see. Why was my unfollow Trump? And then I reload his thing. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess that doesn't work. All right, so I guess it's just Twitter being a bunch of assholes. All right, so that, so that, see, it's, I knew you couldn't trust this guy. Now he's pushing the same shit too. You would go in the highest corona. The fuck off. All right, they're counting everything. Like if you had coronavirus, you get eaten by a shark, right? And they'll count that as a coronavirus death, even though you actually died from the shark eating you. That's exactly what Elon Musk said. And we're, oh man, oh, yeah. Well. Oh well. Oh, there was a nice thing too. Uh, nice thing though. La uh, last night, 
Nick Fuentes did call out Stefan Molyneux for being a completely fake grifting F-word. So that was kind of nice. And they also started attacking Jack Posobiec and Mike Cernovich. So I can definitely tell you that, I mean, I already said this before, but I'll reiterate this again. And yeah, Nick's definitely gotten much better the past few days. He's also been getting more annoyed with the wig nats too, along with the, the dissident right website that cannot be mentioned or hinted at. So um, it's going to be uh, kind of interesting. There'll, there'll be three factions in the future. All right, you got your fake right, so that's your Jack Posobics and the other asshole that won't remain unnamed. Um, and you have the true right, which is the Groypers and Nick Fuentes. And then you have the Wignet uh, faction, where they don't have God, but they definitely placed, you know, white race above everything else when they're not supposed to do that. It's supposed to always be God first. There's no exception to that. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And then while all that's happening, the Democrats will just simply take everything over with their demographic shift. And it's just like, yeah. See, this is ultimately why you need empathy. All right? Because with, without empathy, you, can't, you cannot build coalitions. You'll just wind up being, uh, pretty much you'll just wind up like Owen Benjamin, where everyone's just pissed off at each other. And then you just go run off to your little shitty farm, and then nobody cares about you anymore. And that's kind of what the left wants. Ah, G D D. Okay, I'm not seeing. Okay, what the hell? Uh, which? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? There. Okay. <laughs> uh, wear a mask. I should wear a mask and pull out. Oh my god. If people get iron cow this pay, you will see the effect rate go up. It's that simple. Low income can have the heart heart of virus that works better. Blah, blah blah. Well, yeah, you're telling them they can't work and you're not giving them free money, so yeah. I mean I don't know. How how long can like the dumb and poor people like uh deal with this before they get mad? Uh oh wow, so it went from six to seven to seven seven now. So everything's perfect except of course Long Island, Mid Hudson, and of course good old New York. Yeah, I think New York City is probably not even gonna be able to re reopen till like June fifteenth. So um at least start phase one or whatever. Alright, uh there we go. Um Okay, I don't feel like yeah, I I wanna look at the tree, but yeah. No, ISIS does not have... All right, we're just going to read this real... I really do like this uh, thing, so we'll probably use this as a thumbnail, but I do want to read this Facebook, Amazon article. Uh, high profile. Okay, so they said... Uh, a trusted investigative partner, blah, blah, blah. Okay, stop jerking yourselves off. Last week, claiming that... Uh huh. So you make sure you sure poor price for a variety. Uh, okay, we know that most terrorists of America have raised less than ten thousand. Indicated limited adoption. For if buses have found only proceeds in a Bitcoin, trade balance, regional exchange, and money services would be reflect this flow of funds. Uh, popular community in Gaza reports claim chain and all. Oh yeah, it is true. The Palestinians and like the. Ra uh, radical Islamic terrorists, they do tend to over exaggerate. Like, one dollar becomes like ten million dollars. Like, it's basically a, a full lie. Further, only one was transferred into the network from external sources. Yeah, so basically. Okay, so I think they're saying. We don't see that much money flowing around. We can't really track anything. However, what does it say about crypto curies? Okay. Uh, that's a really nice graphic, by the way. Uh, but let's say they were actually laundering it. Well, if they were laundering, we would be able to see the uh, numbers. But here's the thing. like Bitcoin volume is so large. But you can still track the Bitcoin addresses, too. So, you know, it's... Eh. I don't know. Uh, it was not. This article is not as good as I thought it would, but it's a pretty nice thumbnail. So we're just going to use the thumbnail. <laughs> Shopify integrates crypto gateway coin payments. Coin payments is actually pretty good, but they just really don't like New York because of the stupid financial regulations. Announces new partnership with for Facebook shops. Shopify has now integrated tech from coin payments to bring crypto online to merchants in a separate announcement. So yeah, when I actually pay the $10,000 crypto fee to list, you know, JMC 404 coin, maybe two by two coin, 
yeah, it's going to have a really big audience. The problem is other people need to know about the point. And there has to be some kind of uh, thing for it. The online giant has also formed a new partner. Facebook help business owners create Facebook shops. Huh. Shopify allows their website owners to build their own virtual storefronts, managing, tracking, and tracking center, trying to order. Its use of coin payment signals, the rise of crypto as a critical growth sector with consumer facing tech giants aiming to reach people with digital assets. Shopify is a 20% share in the industry and is the second most popular income after WooCommerce. Hmm, interesting. I always heard of WooCommerce, but I never really used them, which has a 26% market share, generating uh one a little under 1.6 billion in 2019 and 47a a recently last year shopify ceo dvd we 20 months monster we earned a trust for more than a million okay each i have a a beta trial with coin in 20 you know honestly crypto that's an option we can provide shopify that's actually pretty good who is all the night a leverage blockchain based currency such as reduce legacy fees it's also powering Facebook shops, a free new tool that will allow online merchants to create customized storefronts on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, this is a direct attack on Amazon. And on top of that, Amazon was such a huge asshole. I mean, again, I read the Everything Store book by Jeff Bezos. Jeff is just literally just being a parasite, right? You know, because he just wants to give the customer, like, like, you know, the best of everything. Well, there's a problem with that. He doesn't treat his employees well. Uh, he likes to scream at them, actually. And, uh, uh, well, yeah, that also extends to the workers that work those like fulfillment centers. Yeah, and then third party sellers are actually pissed at Amazon because they feel like they have no choice. And they know that Amazon's using their own data to create competitor knockoff products and undercut them. So it's basically like what Walmart used to do when they move into like, a conservative backwater town with like just mom and pop stores. And then just wipe everybody out. That's it. And so, so now with Facebook, now it's going to be more difficult because let's say Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg also do the same thing. Well, here's the problem. Both are going to get uh, angry, uh, Amazon and Facebook, at each other. All right? No. The third party sales will get angry at everybody, but Amazon and Facebook will get angry at each other. So here's the thing. If they both act like parasites, then they're like, you know what? We need to outdo Amazon and Amazon will be like, we have to outdo Facebook. So they'll actually start being a little nicer to the third party sellers, which gives the third party sellers who are getting fucked in the ass by both Amazon and eventually Facebook uh, a little more leeway. Um, so basically competition is a good thing. It's good for it's good for us bad for the big companies but i mean you're a big company so i mean you're su you're supposed to be taking some problems okay so free new tool shopify says merchants can grow their businesses across facebook's family of apps through a new unified facebook channel yeah now that i've been uh, working on my game and looking more into development and ad and monetization stuff Facebook is really where you want to go. Like they have everything. Like I actually look at the ads when I play like Pixel Starships, and those that's all those ads are actually Facebook ads. The ads are actually really good, um, which of course presents a problem for me when I try to create computer desktop stuff. And the thing is, like uh, Facebook even gave up desktop advertising, so they removed they removed all that. So it's like ah, oh, that's gonna be tough. Uh, if you're we're all across to it's not clear yet. Facebook shall also offer crypto payment options. Um, oh, and that's the end. Okay, my God, he really does look like a zombie. Jesus. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Oh, my God. It really is how he looks like. Poor guy. Jeez, if I were a multi-billionaire like him, I at least would, like, go to Jeff Bezos for and, like, fucking work out and shit and lift weights. I don't know. But with that being said, yeah, I'm still thinking about monetization desktop. It's gonna it's gonna be more of a challenge, but I'm still gonna try to make it work. You know, if anyone can figure it out, it'd, it'd be me. You know, but it is kind of a somewhat discouraging to see Facebook had everything, and then when they had de ads running on desktop, just the way that you just run ads on mobile, they're like, nope, right? And they had the data, so they know the person was connected to face uh, Facebook. And they ran the customized ad for them on the desktop, and they're still like, nah, whatever. Also, it turns out uh, mobile advertising is 27 times more effective than traditional internet advertising, which is insane to me. Like, 
I, I think it's because people are just so wired to just ignore all the ads on desktop. But, you know, it's like, hmm. I don't know, but I think I could take a crack at it. Like, it just needs to be implemented correctly, I think. But, you know, again, it, uh, I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to, we'll, yeah, it's something I'll have to worry about later. Uh, James, uh, so anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. So I don't know how this video is like 25 and a half minutes, like we literally did not go over anything. Uh, but with that being said, we went over some interesting stuff. Uh, let's see, what's the stock symbol for Amazon? AMZ? Oh, AMZN. Uh, there we go. Now, uh, oh. Is that is that their preferred stock? A M Z N. All right. Uh, it is down one percent. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And Facebook, I think that's just F B, which also could stand for uh, fuck buddy. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much Facebook and Amazon are going to go head to head. So that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, there's really nothing different. You know, Rumble's doing all right. The market, yeah, I think markets will just be like kind of neutralish. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with crypto. It's just, just decides to be a down day. Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe that sudden drop that usually happens every Bitcoin halving, maybe that's what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't see anything different. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Just. You know, again, it's just another boring waiting game. You know, I guess if you want to farm some more 404 before the swap happens, you can do that too. Um, yeah. So, uh, and, oh, and sign up for your BTC pop account because they're going to do the swap too. So, uh, I don't know. I haven't seen an announcement though. So, maybe you have to log in and they'll say it there. Anyway, uh, oh, by the way, if that's the case, just leave a comment in the in the, in the thing, and then I'll actually log in because I don't feel like because I have I don't feel like typing in the two factor authentication every time I log in at BTC Pop. So plus I want to go play more Pixel Starships, even though I think I, I think I triggered the ad, the anti botting shit because I just I'm way too efficient with the with the ad clicking. See you all tomorrow. Thanks, Judson Che, JMC Coin, four hundred four Coin. Um, where is that ice? Yeah, there we go. There's our little fun thumbnail.